So the last time we were in Storage Hunter Simulator, we had a couple of legendary items. And I've had quite a few more since because I've now got the level 3 verification and repairing tool. And I've also hit Renown 35. So we are going to do a tier 5 auction. I think there's a tier 4 that's following up straight after. So if we have enough time, we'll do that as well. The thing is, at the moment, it's kind of a good bug. The game's bugged out and I've got the max level for both tools. So I can fix things up to perfect condition. So if we have a look, I'll quickly show you. If I go into tools, they're both blanked out. And then if I very quickly go to the warehouse, we've got to wait until 3 p.m. for the auction. You'll see everything has got this diamond because it's all perfect. So I don't know how the bug happened. There are some irritating bugs in this game. Like my guy hasn't sold anything in the shop for over a day. I had it happen before and I managed to quit out of the main menu, come back in and it fixed it. However, I didn't want to do that this time just yet anyway because if it does fix it, there's a chance it'll fix the tools as well. And because we are going for a tier 5 max tier um, auction with the tier 4 after, because we're going for those, I would like to get everything perfect. And if I find legendaries, I'll be able to uh, verify them. We've got to hang around for about half an hour. And then we are going to be able to see the starting price for the locker, bin, container, whatever you want to call it. So we've got five minutes until this auction opens up. I'm kind of hoping we don't get too many legendaries from it. Because I'm not selling them in this pawn shop. I'm selling them at market value over in Black Elk. Because I had legendary stuff on sale for, I think it was like three or four days. And my guy just never shifted them. So, here we go. Tier 5. Fingers crossed there's some good stuff in this. I don't care how much... What was the starting price for this? 631. This could be like two grand for this. What have we got in there? And it's pretty empty. We've got a chair here. That could be unique. There's what well, looks like a broken something on the floor down there. There's a laptop. There's a bag. There's not too much in here. That chest could have some goodies in it. And some of that stuff back there could be worth quite a bit. I'm going to win this regardless. I want to see what's in it. So let's go. We're starting at 6.31. Let's see how much this goes up to. Come on. Let me have it for that much. Don't bid. No, I said don't bid. 12.71. Give me it. Give me it. Okay, it might not be that valuable. I've had, like, tier twos more expensive. This is just a rare flower chair. So if we get this all the way up, you'll see the price going up as we get it to perfect. 358 on that. Oh, yeah, and I bought the upgraded truck as well for five grand. I don't think it's that great. The thing I like about it the most is the fact that it goes double, the, like, over double the speed of the first truck. Um, excuse me, don't fall on my head. Oh, it's a legendary computer. Well, let's uh, verify you. Normal is 993. And then perfect, it goes up to 1489. That is a find and a half. Even this stick horse is 634. Oh, that was a toy spaceship I was looking at. See, but fixing this stuff up adds so much more value to it. The punch bag. How bad is 168. Perfect is 361. I think I've just found like a little mobile phone or something in here. What's this? It's a gem. 172 broken condition. 516. Okay, we'll take that. Look at the value of this bin. A legendary cro No, you're joking. 900s? Imperfect? Oh, okay. Nice. It's around the same price. Their profit on this. I'm, I'm glad we did the tier 5. Uh, yeah, so 7200 value on this. And there's a few things I still haven't uh, verified or anything yet. It's all like common stuff, so the value won't increase that much. But I'm going to go through all of it. Obviously, this is locked. We need to take it to our locksmith, dude. I'll get all of it valued up, and then I'll show you guys at the end. So this is the last thing, and it's just brought us over eight grand's worth of value. 
in this container. I've got a load of it uh, loaded up on the truck. Some bits I'm leaving behind. But unfortunately, that ends at 8 o'clock. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that tier 4. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. We've had... Uh, this has been the best by far container that I've actually opened in the game. You know what? I've got nearly three grand. We are going to hit up that tier four because all this stuff will stay outside until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So what I can do is I'll have enough time to drive this back because this uh, truck's nice and quick. All that stuff can stay there for now. And then we're going to jump straight into the tier four, get all that. And then we'll obviously have two loads to bring back to the shop. And that value, the eight grand, was without the price markups that the employee and the shop would do. So I was going to go for this one as well. It's a tier four. We're just going to slap out a bid. We are going to win it. So that was quite an expensive one, 1246. But we did win it. Now let's have a look. This is unique, but it's locked. This is common. Well, we've got one of these um, decline benches. They're like 600. We've got a painting here. Do we have... We've got a few rare items. Let me just get all of this um, verified and fixed. And then I'll show you guys the uh, profit on this bin. So nowhere near as much profit. But we did get 2,800 in value without the stuff that's in here. Obviously, there's a chance every time you uh, open one of these. I've got... Oh, wait, no, no, hold up. I didn't do this, so the value is more. The 780 in perfect condition. So we nearly tripled our money on that. But the thing is, I've got so much stuff to uh, take back to the shop now. My guy has been selling. He's been doing quite good, actually. I'm going to take a few of these bigger bits over to the shop. Because I don't know how much the dude sold. And obviously the shop's closed. The rest of it I'm going to have to store in the warehouse. So let's see. Can I... There's 29. Capacity max. Oh, that's not good. I've still got all this on. I'm going to have to store it all at home. The good thing is, I believe we can leave stuff on the truck as well. I think it's if it's in the warehouse or on your truck then it's safe. So trip number two back to the house with stuff on the back. I'm hoping I can store all this because the remaining items are going to be easy to put in the truck. Let's see how many things did we get. Okay, we're only at 12 out of 30. Okay, yeah, we can store everything in the warehouse overnight. Right, so it's just gone 9 o'clock. Renown's going up. I'm taking a few things over to the pawn shop. I've got the chests that we need to take to the locksmith. So, let's get these verified. They're going to take... Well, we'll come back in like six hours. So, now we're going to go back to our warehouse at the house. Are there any decent auctions today? There's a four... There's a five at midday. I need to deal with all this other stuff first. And now we take just these three items over to Black Elk. Because what happens with the Renown is when you go to a new area, your Renown starts all over again. And you'll see in the top right, I have a quest to get all three areas in the game, all three districts up to level 50. I'm only 37 at Blueberry, and that's the one I've done the most work in. So when I get legendaries, because they don't sell well in the shop, and because I can now verify them, and like even before verifying, but because I can verify and fix them, I get more money for them, which is like a very good amount of renown over in areas that are low. It saves you so much money being able to, to uh, verify and repair your stuff. Repairing makes you a lot more money. And verifying not only saves you the trip over, which is fuel money, but also each legendary is $150 to verify. Most of the uniques are 80. Though outside of chests at the locksmith, a unique is 80 and then it's 30 for a rare. I didn't have to bother. I upgraded the tools legit to um, be able to do unique up to normal condition. And then the game just bugged on me. So you'll see we're currently renowned level 8 over here. And if we come into this pawn shop, which is gigantic compared to the one you start with. If we talk to this guy, so we're going to get 435. 
go up to nearly level 9. And then this one budges us up to level 10. This one puts us to level 11. And if we take a look at the map quickly, the reason I'm doing it is because over here, to sign up to tier 3 auctions, you've got to be level 15. To buy this pawn shop, you've got to be level 20. And then you don't get... You can buy a house over here and the, like the removal truck that I really want when you're level 30 over here. And then the tier 5s are level 35. And obviously we're level 11, so I've been using the high-end gear to buff up our renown. I've got plenty of money and stuff. And you'll see what I mean about this truck. The starting one, 60 mile an hour limit. Yeah, this one hits like 132, 133 across that bridge. Here we go, we can sign up for the tier 5. I missed the starting price again. 273 is a cheap starting price for a tier 5. See, this one's going to be quite cheap, and I think off two items I can make this money back if it stays around this sort of price. Yeah, it's going up. 600. Oh, 770. Nice. Let me have it for 830. Oh, all right. Let me have it for 900. Nobody outbid. Here we go. Nice. So now it's going to be three or four items to make that money back. Well, three or four good items. Obviously, something like a wrench that's going to sell in perfect condition for $10 ain't going to make your money back. Unique dagger. Oh, there we go. There's profit. And we've still got a few things in here to make even more profit. This table is going to be a decent amount. 140, we'll take that. And then this is not going to be worth too much, is it? We do, however, have a gem hiding behind it. And said gem is worth 526. We've got nothing else in here, no gems hiding. Right, this is going to have to go kind of like this. You're going to have to just stay there. So, the rare chest that we found has a gold bar in it. And at perfect condition, that's a $500 piece. We've also got a rare medallion, which is another. So there was like $800 in this uh, chest. So what was in here? Silver bangle, they're decent. Military bionics, they're good as well. But see, that's like an extra five, 600. Just this chest on its own is $100 in perfect condition. I don't think much is sold over in Blueberry again. We've got all this stuff to sell. We're at 13 to 300, so let's sell it all. So that was five grand we made with just that lot. And we're nearly level 14 here. I want to buy this pawn shop. It's level 20, but I also want to get a house over here, which is level 30. So we've made it back to Blueberry. My guy's definitely bugged out again, which is starting to get really annoying. He hasn't sold anything for hours. Which is not how it should be working. There's room for 13 items. And look, again, there's nobody in this shop. He sold another 1700 before he gave up. We're up to 20 grand. We've got a chest that I'm going to go grab from the locksmith. And then all I've got to do is just keep saving up that money, level up Black Elk, and then move over there, and hopefully we get some good auctions there too. We had a boy figurine in this chest, which is another 200 We had a storage jar, which is $55, and a medal that I didn't see until last second. That's like another $500 um, chest there. Not a single complaint from me.